Hello everyone, my name is Steve Sotelo, Exoterra U.S. Division Manager. I'm here today to introduce you to one of the newest series of products under Exoterra, which happen to be the Big Rock Moisture Retaining Caves. Now, these new items happen to fall under the functional decor category in our catalog. And what that means is not only do they represent a normal decoration or an aesthetically pleasing element to your terrarium, but they also offer a lot of problem solving features that help out with reptile amphibian keeping or being able to maintain microclimates within your terrarium itself. This new series of product happen to be line extensions to our popular wet log and wet rock line of products. All of the big rock caves happen to have three in one functions. Function number one is a water dish. Function number two is the hide area. And ultimately, if both of those are integrated properly, function number three is a humidity chamber. Now, if you notice at the top of this item, each individual Big Rock Cave does have a upper portion and a lower portion. The upper portion happens to have a water dish in it. When you add water to this water dish, it will slowly seep throughout the day into the, uh, the hide area of the cave. As the ceramic material that this is made from uh, slowly absorbs the water, it will release humidity throughout the day, decreasing temperature and increasing humidity within the chamber of this decoration. Now, as I mentioned, this is a ceramic material which happens to be an eco-friendly material. When the, when the humidity increases within the enclosure, there are portions of that that do happen to de-stress reptile, and more importantly, it will help out with shedding, and as a part of shedding, reduce any issues that you might have with nails or claws in reptiles, and some of the problems that are associated with hot and dry environments that these animals naturally come from. Another feature to the Big Rock Cave that doesn't happen to be immediately obvious is when you add a moist moss or some type of moisture retaining substrate to the chamber itself, the humidity will end up creating an egg laying site. Now reptiles happen to feel safer and more secure laying their eggs in areas where they know there is ample humidity and more stable humidity. So any one of these on an, in an appropriately sized enclosure with an appropriately sized reptile will be able to offer this egg laying site in addition to other types of egg laying sites that you might happen to offer this animal. The big rock caves are also multifunctional. Each individual one of them are painted in neutral tones, meaning they can be incorporated into arid and desert environments all the way up to neotropical and rainforest environments. And because of this, they are suited for a number of species that happen to encounter extreme climates like Euromastics, uh, knobtail geckos, or even some tropical and subtropical animals that might need a little bit of a cooler environment. Another unique feature when it comes to the ceramic material that these caves are made in is if you look at the chart that's available here in front of you, as the temperatures rise inside of that terrarium itself, and the humidity rises to counteract that inside of the big rock ceramic cave, the temperatures will actually drop within that cave. So although your reptile is experiencing some pretty high environmental fluctuations outside of the, outside of the cave, inside, inside of the terrarium throughout the day, they could find a refuge in all of the ceramic caves knowing that the humidity is slightly elevated and the temperature is decreased. Some of the most important research that has, that has come out about reptile care and certainly uh, reptiles in their native environments over the last decade, decade and a half, is these animals are often found in extreme environments. And as such, they happen to know the microclimates that are available to them in order to help keep them comfortable and healthy. A lot of these reptiles find refuge in these microclimates to avoid these extreme environments. Now, you might find some of these animals in termite mounds or burrows made by uh, moles or gophers, for example. They might find themselves in the root systems of low-hanging bushes in arid environments, much like you would find in scrub regions in Australia, or they might be semi-farsorial animals that happen to spend a lot of time underneath leaf litter or directly inside of that base substrate layer. These microclimates offer a lot of features that are helpful to reptile care. When your animal is immediately removing themselves from those extreme environments outside, let's say under a basking spot during the hottest time of the day and inside of the cave, they're inhaling some level of humidity, stabilizing their hydration. 
so throughout the day, instead of breathing out and losing moisture, hiding under a normal cave or underneath a heat lamp, they're actually able to retain a lot of that moisture just by breathing within these caves. Exoterra wet logs, wet rocks, and now the big rock moisture retaining ceramic caves are available at most Exoterra retailers around the United States. But for more information, please visit exo-terra.com and follow us across all of our social platforms, which include Exoterra USA on Facebook and Exoterra USA on Instagram. We look forward to introducing you to new products in the future. Thank you.